What's poppin' and welcome to episode 4 of my Iron Man Progress series. Already a month in, but by this point we already know what to expect, kinda, so we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it. So we're gonna go to the questing, 142 quest points. Uh, I'll get more into the quest that I finished um, when I get to like the goals I made this week. Cause I'm gonna, I'm gonna start showing clips of everything uh, that I have completed, that way, you know, if you guys aren't there, at least I'm not showing like, here's what I was last week, here what I am now. You know, just kind of so you can see the progress as it's happening, like you were almost there. Um, but we're at 142 quest points, so we got about 22 quest points uh, in the week. And so I actually got 12 quests done this week, so pretty impressive amount of quests. And there are some pretty notable ones. Uh, you can see, haha, I'm holding this Draman staff, so that might give you a little bit of an idea of some of the questing that I did. Alright, we're going to go ahead into the bank. I think it's about 150k difference from last week. Uh, not too many things are different. Um, cash stacks looking way lower than last week. I actually don't have a kitten anymore. I have a cat, which means I can do rat catchers. And when I get to uh, the recipe for disaster, I'll have that. Or I'm fishing and cooking just like I said I would be. And honestly, that's about it. I, nothing in the bank really has changed all that much in the past week. Uh, it's just we're getting a lot more quest rewards in the bank here. But yeah, as far as the past week, there hasn't been a lot of like item collecting. It's just mainly been questing. All right, but with all that said, we're going to go ahead and get into the skills and goals and all that good stuff. All righty, so definitely not 100 total levels like the past two weeks have been, but it does look like we're going to hit 1K total maybe next week, maybe the week after, but I got good faith in it. Um, a lot of these came down to just quest rewards, um, as you can see with construction and farming and stuff like that, but... I train Hunter up for Eagle's Peak. I got 32 Slayer for the Mogur mini quest because you can kill him for a raw shark, which I'll need in a future quest. And obviously, I don't have the proper fishing level. But as far as the skills go, it was pretty much just came down to quest rewards and trying to pick, you know, the XP rewards as favorably as I can. I try to put as many into Herblore as possible, but a lot of the quest rewards right now are like level 30 and up. So I really need to buckle down, get those last four Herblore levels, and then uh, maybe we'll see that start going up quite a bit. As far as that, just happy that nothing else is level one anymore, but that pretty much wraps up the skills for the week. Uh, big differences, some not too big differences. All right, now let's look at some of the highlights for the past week. Okay, let's get ready for some hype stuff. So this is me getting 32 Slayer for the Mogur mini quest this week. And now we got uh, me completing Lost City, one step closer to those fairy rings. Really, really awesome. And here I found out that I can't stream and record a video at the same time. Here's me using the fairy rings for the first time. Here we go, killing Agrith Nar. Dude was uh, pretty wild to kill, but you know, Got that quest completed, got dark light, got 40 magic with the XP at the end. Finished off the vampire series, well I would've, until they put out that new quest last week. Uh, here's me hitting 900 total level while I was training Hunter yesterday. And actually while I was recording this video, I actually got 40 ranged, so that's pretty dope. Alrighty guys, so as far as the goals for the next uh, week is going to be, it's not really too many. Um, it's still keeping on track for completing Monkey Madness. I'm about 22 quests away from it, um, but a lot of them are actually moderately short. The only thing that's going to be a bit of a problem is getting the skill requirements. Um, I got to get 40 Slayer and 43 Prayer. I really need to get 43 Prayer out of the way because it's just a monumental prayer that you need to unlock. Um, but I also have to get 46 Magic. Um, I have to train my mining and smithing up quite a bit. I think I also have to get 40 Crafting, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem. So it's just going to be stuff like that, having to try to juggle and getting all the quests done and also getting the skill requirements. We're going to we're just going to try and make it work. And hopefully within the next two weeks, I'll have Monkey Madness done and I'll be well on my way to using dragon equipment. Then we'll really start knocking out some Slayer and we'll be progressing on a high level content actually pretty quick. I think I only have 50 or 45 quests left. So it seems like a lot, but I've already done almost 90 of them. So, you know, it'll really 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 be quick i think a lot of the ending quests that i have most of them are really short i haven't done the beginning of a lot of quest lines so quest point cape will get knocked out pretty soon obviously monkey madness 2 and dragon slayer 2 that's eh, gonna be really rough i don't know if i'll be finishing those you know within the next month or two but we're definitely gonna try and see what we can get done but i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry that this one is kind of a bit shorter than the last two. Uh, I'm recording this video a day early because I'm going to be super, super busy. So there could have been a whole another days with the progress, but 
But I know next week is going to be action-packed with a bunch of crazy stuff that goes on. But thank you all for the support. Thank you for watching. Uh, my Twitch link will be in my description down below. So check that out if you're interested. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you next Wednesday.